Well, our next guest says while it's interesting to watch, the US election isn't likely to change Washington or Wall Street. He says the market cares more about fiscal clarity than specific people. Let's get over to Chicago now where we're joined live by Larry Shover, the Chief Investment Officer at SFG Alternatives. Larry, thanks for your time today. We do appreciate it. You don't think one candidate will benefit the economy or the markets more than the other? Well, I do, but I don't think the market really cares right now. I think the market's looking past the election and just, just hoping for clarity. The fiscal cliff, the debt issues that we have, these are things that have to be tackled. And I think what's in place, I mean, unless we have a game-changing election tonight, uh, if Obama wins, and that seems to be the consensus, his administration knows that they have to tackle this fiscal cliff ASAP. Okay, but markets, you say, are after clarity. I guess they're also after certainty. So is the ideal outcome a, a majority in both houses? Well, yeah, I think the, uh, the upside would be, the upside, and this is not the consensus, would be a Romney victory and Republicans controlling both the House and the Senate. But the, consens the consensus is that uh, Boehner, uh, Reid, and Obama keep their jobs and that the U.S. will lose, uh, the Republicans will lose a couple of House seats, but they'll still keep the majority. And the Senate will still say split 53-47 to the Democrats. So it'll be a four-year lame duck session. Uh, basically, at least the next two years will be a lame duck session uh, with just more log jams in Washington. But I think everybody knows that the fiscal cliff is priority number one right now. OK, so with the, the scenario you just played out there, Obama keeping his job and, and uh, the Republicans losing a, a couple of places, how do you think that they're, they're prepared to resolve that fiscal cliff? Well, I think what they're going to do is something that Americans are really good at, and that's procrastinating. Mm -hmm. They'll keep punting the ball down the field. Uh, they'll do whatever they can, maybe like move the, uh, the Bush rate cuts, move the goalposts mm -hmm. back a little bit. Instead of uh, raising taxes on people that are earning 250, maybe a compromise and say, let's say 500 or a million dollars, raise taxes on those. Just do a lot of different things that they can to compromise, not tackling the uh, pink elephant that's in the room, but just, uh, you know, fix the immediate problem and just keep working at the problem in the next two years. How have you been preparing for today, Larry? Have you been buying or selling anything in particular in preparation? Myself, absolutely not. But one thing I am doing, and I'm very cautious of the fact that commodity prices in general are very, very cheap right now. And just given the fact that in the United States they're going to continue to print more money and QE3 is probably going to end up being larger than QE2, that's going to fuel energy into the metal sector, into oil, et cetera. So I'm mindful of the fact that uh, things like gold, copper, oil are fundamentally cheap right now based on the fact that we will be debasing the U.S. dollar. So in the U.S. terms, it's probably a good time to, to get back into at least a metals market. But what about the, the risk aversion that could come into play? Should we see this fiscal cliff uh, continue to be kicked down the road and start to emerge as a, a massive concern? Yeah, no, I mean, we are concerned, but I think we're so numb also, um, and just pardon me, but we're numb to the fact that things do get taken care of. It's just that it'll be taken mm. care of with shoestring and bubble gum, but they'll do something just to keep the house in order. But with that said, there's a, a pessimistic bubble being built right now, and it's actually quite large. I mean, safe haven assets like bonds and uh, some other things are very, very expensive right now relative to stocks, relative to real estate, relative to uh, exposure to commodities. So I probably would stay away with any, stay out of any asset class that's not providing some sort of yield right now, and that's safe haven assets, because that's where the bubble's being built right now. So you see a fiscal cliff situation where they leave it right up to the last minute and then pull back and find some kind of solution, even if it is a fairly temporary one. Absolutely. And, it, and you're exactly right. They're going to wait till the very last minute and it's going to be very temporary, but it's going to be exactly enough to, to, uh, to calm the markets for the time being until they have to do it again. And they will continue to compromise down the road continue to patch it with whatever they can to patch it but you're right it'll be at the very very last minute larry what are the themes what's the chatter down there in the pits in chicago about these two candidates at the moment what do you keep hearing 
You know, right now um, behind me, the, the market's just been very, very quiet. I mean, I know the S and P's were up about one percent today. Uh, the dollar's down. Uh, the Aussie's actually up like 80 bips. No big surprise, because, well, because of the big surprise. But really, um, there's a lot of squaring of positions right now because there's really no um, new paper coming into the pit. We saw a lot of active buying yesterday, actually, in the Australian dollars and some of the out of the money calls in November. Uh, the 104 calls in December, the 104 calls. But today, everybody's really just waiting for the election to be over with. And then I think the market will return to some sort of normalcy. OK, some sort of normality. So tomorrow, when you head back into work, if you've got an election result either way, nothing will be starkly different in terms of what you're buying and selling, whether it's Obama or whether it's Romney. I don't think so, because Let's put it this way, um, an Obama victory would, uh, the, most people would think an Obama victory would be bullish for gold. Um, mm -hmm. It would be just the opposite for Romney. Um, an Obama victory would be bearish for the, uh, the dollar. Uh, and those things are already in place right now. Mm -hmm. We're seeing a, a big rally in gold today, dollars down again today. Um, so the risk premium's already set for an Obama victory. And mm -hmm. I think conversely, if uh, Romney should pull it out, then things will change quite dramatically, especially with the yield curve. We'd see the yield, yield curve become very, very flat.